हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री क्लास एज यू नो दैट वी आर रिवाइजिंग बायोमालिक्यूल्स एंड वी हैव फिनिश्ड कार्बोहाइड्रेट नाउ इन टुडे क्लास वी विल सी द प्रोटीन एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड एज यू नो दैट स्टूडेंट we are revising protein third time but uh, we will start like the first time okay you can understand very well all those topics we have uh, which you have forget or don't understand in class so don't worry be happy now start what are the proteins protein are the polymer condense polymer of the alpha amino acid proteins are what proteins are the condense polymer okay of the alpha amino acid you have to remember this thing alpha amino acid okay proteins are the polymer of the alpha amino acid okay in the <coughs> as you know that we you have to give multiple choice question na okay multiple choice question you have to give so you have to learn each point very carefully as you know that you can define amino acid in alpha beta gamma delta so you have to remember that proteins are the condensation polymer of alpha amino acid it means alpha amino acid the, is the monomeric unit of protein okay there are the two uh, as you know that amino acids are the bifunctional compound bifunctional compound means it has two functional group one is the carboxylic and other is the amino group therefore it is called amino acid because it has two part one is the acid part and other is the amino group okay this way you can say that amino acids are the bifunctional and they form jitter ion all those compound which have two functional group in alpha position they can form the jitter ion you can see here uh, one amino acid like this see this is the carbon and this is the functional group c double oh okay c double oh and uh, here is suppose cs3 okay here is h here is n s2 n s2 okay when it lose hydrogen when this is the amino acid and here is the amine group and here is the carboxylic group when it lose hydrogen and transfer toward the amine group okay then it become what suppose it transferred its hydrogen toward the this amine group okay now the structure will be look once again here cs3 okay and uh, c here is h and here is n s3 okay here will be n s3 n h 3 plus n s 3 plus okay and uh, here will be c double o h c double o minus okay this way here is positive charge also positive charge and negative charge both are in the same molecule now you can see once again suppose what is the jitter ion you can see suppose here is the c 
See here is the C double O minus. Now you can see very clearly. Here is N S three N S three plus here is H and here is C S three group. Okay. Here is positive charge, complete pos uh, negative charge, here is complete positive charge. Such type of compounds are known as Jewitter ions. What Jewitter ions? Because here is negative charge and here is positive charge in the same compound. So amino acid form Jewitter ions. Okay, you have to remember this. Uh, in any question, it may be asked. What is Jupiter ions? And uh, there will be four options. So always you remember this. All those bifunctional group containing compounds can form the Jupiter ion in the alpha position. You any can compound will be Jupiter ion, but you have to remember the condition. Condition should be alpha position and uh, there should be two functional group and if in a compound there is two functional group okay if in any compound there are two functional group then that compounds are called bifunctional compound and uh, such compound undergo condensation reaction undergo condensation reaction i have told you three things when is the if a compound have two functional group okay in such condition as you uh, looking here in the amino acid then uh, such compounds are called bifunctional they can form jitter ion and they undergo they can undergo the condensation reaction so it may be asked in any question which uh, statement is true okay so therefore always be careful in such condition when we you have to give multiple choice question don't uh, leave any topic any point don't try to escape okay okay now we proceed to next topic i have told you from all aspect about the amino acid okay now See here, the structure of protein. On the basis of structure, on the basis of structure, proteins are globular, uh, fibrous and globular. Albumin and hemoglobin, these are the globular protein. You can take example of insulin also. And myosin, actin, Keratin, these are muscular proteins, or is these are the fibrous proteins, some more fibrous proteins are the thread like molecules. These are the thread like molecules and tend to side by side. In globular protein, there are the folded molecules, compact unit, spread molecular. <coughs> See, okay. Now we once again come to the mm, amino acid. Okay, we will see classification of amino acid here. Okay, see now here uh, amino acid. Amino acid contains CWHNS2. On the basis of that, uh, if we see the requirement in our body, there are the two types, one is the essential, other is the non-essential. Non-essential are those which can be synthesized in our body and essential are those which we cannot be synthesized in our body. There are uh, 20 type of amino acid in which uh, 10 are essential, 10 are non-essential. Okay. 
Uh, Non-essential amino acid can be synthesized in our body with the help of food we can. But uh, essential we have to take from outside. If we take all 20 types of amino acid in our body, then there will be no any disease in our body. Okay, and growth and heart age and every type of development will be proper in our body. Now on the basis of uh, number of amine group and uh, carboxylic group, there are the two, three type of the amino acids. Okay, one is acidic, basic and neutral. Acidic, basic and neutral. In case of neutral acidic amino acid, C double OH, C double OH is more than an S2. In a if in amino acid, if in any one amino acid, C double OH group is more than N S2 group that will be acidic that will be acidic if uh, you can see here once again if the amino uh, carboxylic group is less than ns2 if carboxylic group less than ns2 then such uh, amino acid will be basic in nature basic in nature if carboxylic group is more than ns2 that will be acidic if carboxylic group is less than ns2 then it will be basic now if both are in equal quantity if both are in equal quantity suppose you can see here suppose uh, both are equal both are equal in same amino acid that will be neutral amino acid thus uh, you understand what is acidic basic and neutral acidic amino acids are those in which the carboxylic group is more than amino group and uh, basic are those in which the carboxylic group is less than amino group and neutrals are those in which the carboxylic group and amino group both are in the same. Now we will see in very short as you, you know that we are revising. So we are trying to revise in very shortly. Once more we will revise this. If you have any problem anywhere, you can ask. And uh, now that we see, see the based on the structure and shape, there are the three type of structure one is the primary structure primary structure uh, you can say that the each polypeptide as you know that the bond between two amino acid is known as peptide bond and uh, if there are two peptide bond then it will be dipeptide if it uh, if there is n peptide bond in a molecule protein molecule that will be polypeptide once again if I, in case of the protein the bond between two amino acids are known as peptide bond if uh, there is two peptide bond means there is three amino acids and two peptide bond that will be tripeptide three peptide bond tripeptide is Similarly, if there is N peptide bond, then will be, there will be polypeptide. In a polypeptide, uh, amino acids are linked to each other by the condensation reaction. And uh, in a primary structure, only amino acids are linked to each other in a specific sequence. You can say that in case of the primary structure, Amino acids are linked to each other in a, uh, in a particular sequence. But uh, in case of uh, secondary structure, when the molecular mass of uh, amino acid or you can say number of amino acids are increasing in the primary structure, then there will be strain uh, created by the formation of uh, hydrogen bond, sulfide bond 
increasing the number of molecules okay it refers to the shape in which the long peptide chain is this one is the alpha and beta these are the two structures secondary structure one is the alpha and helix and other is the beta peptide in case of alpha helix there uh, is the like this helical structure and here will be hydrogen bond only this structure is uh, due to the hydrogen bond this type of structure is only due to the hydrogen bond but in case of beta plated structure uh, you can see you can see here in case of beta plated structure there is a sheet like structure parallel lines parallel amino acid polypeptides are lie to each other and uh, they form sulfur sulfur bond okay this like and here is the sulfide bond with the hydrogen bond also so in the case of beta pleated sheet there are uh, the side chains are lies parallel and they are joined together by the disulfide bond or you can say sulfide bond now you will see the tertiary structure tertiary structure is result of the further folding in the polypeptide chain due to the hydrogen bonding and disulfide linkage wonder wall force and the so many electronic forms or attractions are there uh, you can see that mm, try a uh, tertiary structure tertiary structure is the result of the formation of extra hydrogen bond disulfide bond and wonder wall force and electronic form of attraction in the secondary structure as you know that uh, i have told you in the earlier class that the when the number of amino acid are increasing there is strain is created and hydrogen bonding disulfide bonding takes place and this result in the further coiling in the secondary structure which results tertiary structure now the if two or more polypeptide chains are uh, uh, specially arranged in three dimensionally arranged then uh, you can say that that is the quaternary structure you can say that if the tertiary structure uh, is further coiled or specially arranged specially arranged then you can say that will be a quaternary structure here in the quaternary structure there is the three dimensional structure of the protein you can see that okay now as i have told you that amino acid exists as the dipolar ions jupiter ions i have told you earlier in this class also okay now you can see once again i have told you this is the same line is here okay now you will see with the help of protein proteins are what are the proteins proteins help as the transporting agent as enzyme metabolic regulator antibodies and structural material are these are the proteins that works in our body they are the transporting agent like the hemoglobin enzyme help in digestion and uh, some other uh, proteins are which are the metabolic regulator hormones you can say that uh, like the insulin and antibodies uh as you know that immunoglobulins are the globular protein which uh, uh, protect us from the microorganism like the bacteria virus also and the structural material our body is made up of protein and uh, whatever the shape we see in the different animals uh, and different size of animals these are these are the shape due to the protein okay now we will start the next topic our next topic is the nucleic acid okay our next topic is nucleic acid okay what are the nucleic acid and uh, nucleic acids 
as you I, I have told you that nucleic acids are the also micromolecules and is the polymer of the nucleotides and uh, and uh, these uh, help in the synthesis of protein and transfer of genetic material uh, genetic information from one generation to another generation okay once again I, I will tell you that uh, that the nucleic acids are uh, polymer of nucleotides nucleic acids are polymer of nucleotides that help in the synthesis of protein and transfer of genetic information genetic traits from one generation to another generation and uh, monomeric form of the nucleic acid is the nucleotide monomeric form you have to remember this such as in case of monomeric form, in case of the cellulose is the glucose and in case of starch also glucose in case of protein uh, that is amino acid in case of the nucleic acid these are the nucleotides all these are the polymer of different type of units you can say that glucose carbohydrate is the polymer of glucose or you can say that the cellulose is the polymer of the glucose you can say that the starch is the polymer of glucose you can say that protein is the polymer of amino acid you can say that nucleic acid is also the polymer of nucleotide and uh, you have to remember the bond between the these monomers in case of uh, cellulose there is glycosidic bond between two glucose unit and in case of the starch there is also glucosidic bonds and uh, in case of the protein there is peptide bond between two amino acids and here is the uh, phosphodiester bond between two nucleotides okay these are the bonds which uh, we you have to remember okay now we will see here the that the nucleic uh, nucleotides nucleotide is uh, made up of the pentose sugar which are the heterocyclic bases and phosphoric acid these are the three main constituent of nucleotides pentose sugar and heterocyclic nitrogen bases and phosphoric acid combination of the pentose sugar and heterocyclic uh, nitrogen base is known as nucleoside and the composition of the pentose sugar heterocyclic nitrogenous bases and phosphoric acid is known as nucleotides okay you have to remember nucleoside is the combination of nitrogenous base and uh, pentose sugar and nucleotides are the combination of uh, pentose sugar, heterocyclic nitrogen bases and uh, phosphoric acid unit okay now you see that uh, nucleotides nucleic acids are of two types one is the DNA one is the RNA DNA is the deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA is the ribonucleic acid okay now we come to next topic okay about the structure of dna here you will see here okay what is the structure the structure uh, dna has the double helical structure and rna is the single stand nucleic acid help in the nuclear replication and uh, protein synthesis with the help of replication there is here you see that DNA has a double helical structure two helix are complementary to each other this is the structure of DNA both helix are complementary to each other and while in case of the uh, RNA there is a single stand only no complementary structure and nucleic acid help in the replication and uh, protein synthesis 
as uh, in the earlier class i have told you that uh, formation of dna from dna is called duplication and formation of uh, rna from the dna is known as transcription and formation of protein from the mrna is known as translation okay now rna are of the three types one is the mrna one is the rnna they are functions i have described you and one is the trna mrna have the coded information for the translation and uh, rna help in the binding uh, mrna on the endoplasmic reticulum and trna help in the transport of amino acid for the formation of peptide bond these are the function of the function of the compound 